What's up, guys? So, uh, this is a few days delayed. Uh, I was kind of waiting until my test was over today. Um, took my first mock registry exam uh, in x-ray school. The registry is the licensing exam we have to take after we graduate in order to get licensed to practice. And um, that's pretty much what the classwork in this whole semester is about. So. It's kept me really busy because it's a lot of material to study. I passed, so praise God. Um, but I got a package a few days ago. This will interest you guys from, if you can see that there, from Grind King. So uh, some of you guys have probably heard rumblings about this if you've been following my threads and my comments and stuff. But. Um, Sure, if I can open this by hand or not, I may have to get a scissors. Just a moment. All right. So, been really excited about these. I've been watching these for weeks because. There have been rumblings uh, on, I think it was Instagram, uh, that they might discontinue these, that they were limited edition or something like that. I'm trying to correspond with the owner and talk him out of that because they're wicked cool. Really the coolest things to happen, the coolest thing to happen to skateboard trucks since, um, since Grind Kings happened to skateboard trucks. And uh, some of you guys already know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Grind King Disruptor, uh, there they are, spark trucks. So you're like, okay, if you don't know about these, you're like looking at them and you're like, these look a little different. So what's the deal? The deal is these are like little flints. And there's one here too for when you do like nose slides and stuff. But get the other one opened up because I don't really have a way to show this to you uh, otherwise I'm not even sure if this will work or not but basically let me turn the light off for a second all right so let's see if these things work Okay, they don't work. What am I doing wrong? Oh, there they go. Just hard to see. So, anyway, hold on. They're not sparking very well because I'm not really sure how to make them spark well. Uh, when they're brand new, but there's probably a way to do it. Anyway, um, I wanted to get a set of these uh, before they went hasta la bye bye. And so uh, eventually, these will be going on my deck. These are the same size as the ones I have, these are the 6.0, uh, 8.5 inch model. Um, and I'm just looking at their pivot cups here. The pivot cups look a little different. I wonder if they changed them. It's hard to tell in this light. Uh, but I will have more to come on these when I finally get them on a deck. I'm probably not going to put them on this deck for a number of reasons. Um, Number one, I just don't want to mess with taking it apart right now with school and everything going on. Probably when I replace this deck and get a new one, I'll probably throw these on for a little while and uh, maybe do some demos of them or something like that. Um, and then I'll probably take them off and save them for when I'm a better skater. But uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, last I checked, I think there were like 13 of them left on the Grind King website. Um, so I don't know if that's the last of the last or what the deal is. If, uh, I think it's Donald 
was uh, just pulling pulling people's legs or trying to see if we could stir up a response on Instagram. Um, I know shops are getting them. I've seen posts on Instagram of shops getting Grind Kings in and spark trucks are among them. So, um, but if you really, really have your heart set on getting some, I would buy some now and also shoot Don an email and um, Donald and uh, have him uh, encourage him to keep making them because they're so badass. Um, they, uh, they're basically designed to spark when you grind, you know, uh, which is really kind of cool. I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? Um, and the thing that I always think of, I'm going to show my age here a little bit, is when Police Academy 4 came out. I think it was Police Academy 4. Uh, it was a big deal because the Bones Brigade was in there. And they had this whole section in the middle of it where they were skating and they were doing their Bones Brigade thing, which is awesome. But they did something similar with their trucks. I don't know how they did it, but they put things on uh, like their tails and on their trucks and stuff so that it would spark when they ground and when they uh, dragged their tail and stuff like that. And it looked awesome at night. And um, these kind of take that up a notch. They're really, really cool. Um, so if you like to get, if you have like friends that do photography of your skating, and you want to get some amazing looking shots or footage, if it's video, uh, at night in the dark, you want the sparks. So um, that's it. I just wanted to do a quick video on this uh, as I unbox it. Uh, one thing I will do, a lot of people have asked how much these um, Grind Kings weigh. I imagine these are pretty much identical weight to um, the regular Grind Kings. I don't guess that that these flints take much out of the weight so I will weigh these and I'll weigh the thunders and give you guys that info uh, probably in the comments uh, on my comparison video so check over there if you want to if, you, if you're looking for that information I'll try to get that up in the next few days no promises but I'll do my best um, so let me know what you guys think. Have you seen these? Do you know anything about them? Have any of you ridden Grind Kings? Uh, what do you think of them? How do you think they compare to Indy, Thunder, uh, Venture, whatever other big brands are out there? Uh, I haven't ridden Ventures since I was a kid and I tried them on somebody else's board and I hated them. I didn't think they turned well. Uh, did not like them at all. Um, I think I had Thunders once before and they were okay, but I was a big indie guy, you know, and I also had some gull wings once, which were probably the worst, <laughs> but uh, they had like plastic base plates and they had that groove in the middle, which I guess maybe the vert skaters liked, but they were terrible for, for grinding on street. Um, but, um, you know, I, I really, really like, I think Grind Kings are my all time favorite trucks. And I didn't think I'd ever say that about anything but indie when I was younger. Um, but I'm kind of glad because, you know, independent kind of ticked me off when they started putting pentagrams and stuff all over their trucks. Um, that was never a thing for them. That's just, you know, them trying to like buddy up to Thrasher and, you know, like Satanism is cool or something and it's not. So, um, sorry if you're a Satanist, but it's not, it's not a good thing. So, um, anyway, let me know in the comments if you've tried these, what you think. If you have any questions about them, I'll try to answer them as best I can. Uh, I've already done a, a review of the black ones on this board here. Uh, they're getting some nice grindage in. Uh, I really like the way they grind. They have a nice feel to them. Uh, Thunders felt a little soft. And um, so these are a little bit, I don't know, they just feel better. They don't feel all mushy when you grind. Um, I love the way they turn personally. Um, I never really figured out the whole lean versus turn deal. I know Thunders are supposed to be more lean and Indies are supposed to be more surfy and turny. I feel like these are probably in between, maybe a little more like Indies but they do not feel squirrely. Uh, they handle really well, uh, they grind really well, and I can't do them yet, but if you like to do Smiths and um, 
you know, any kind of uh, heavy grindage where you grind your axles down considerably, you're going to love these. You're just going to freaking love these kingpins. I mean, look at that. You will not get that kind of clearance on any other truck on the market that has a traditional kingpin bolt. So I'm going to peace out for now. I've got another couple of videos to shoot, but um, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. If you like my content, please, please, please subscribe. Uh, tell your friends about me and uh, help build my subscriber list up. You know, the more subscribers I get, the faster I can get to monetize. And once I can monetize, then I can start giving you guys better content. I can get more equipment and better video editing software and the whole bit. So um, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.